morning, y'all. I'm out here in the field, Flunkers TV. We're gonna try to kill a coyote this morning. I've never shot one of these predators. There's a bunch around here. I've got the 6.8 in the back. I've got the binos. We're gonna do some scanning. Let's see if anything comes up this morning. It's hot, 75 degrees outside in October in the morning. Something's wrong with that. Weaponry. Lunkers TV. Steven. You know what it's about, y'all. Look at this tactical shotgun. Ready to mess up a raccoon. I'll play it. It's small game. Dude, I think it's still dove season. Should have. Oh, dude. <laughs> dove hunting with tactical shotguns. <laughs> New video title. <laughs> Lunkers has convinced me that this is the juice. Dove hunting with tactical shotguns. So. Six and a half creed more. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna Let's see maybe doing. throw something down there. Tripod. Mm, that is a sexy gun. Mm. Love the smell of gunpowder in the morning. Mm. Get a snap on that. It's only nine rounds, not ten. That's all I need. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Why did anyone tell me I look like a tool? <laughs> you look like a tool, Steve. <laughs> you look like a tool. <laughs> you think you got ballerina slippers on in his pants? <laughs> Okay, y'all, we have uh, put in her time out here. Three other spots, about 30 minutes each one. It is not going down. But, we still got a lot of daylight. It's a great day to be in the outdoors. Uh, weather's hot, unfortunately, but don't worry. We're gonna figure something out. Now here's the shining moment. Rob, squeeze one off. I just, I'm very curious. Hit myself right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I was just messing around. That was stupid. Give myself well. a fat lip. That was dumb. <laughs> wow. Well, more importantly, <laughs> more importantly than Rob's face, is I just wanted to know that the firing pin was, was right. working right. That was one freaking lucky. Oh, that was way lucky. That. I mean, my gosh. Sometimes fate just has its way around things. That coyote will maybe go on to cure cancer. I don't know. We'll see. Well, what exactly is Tommy Tom? Oh, uh, 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 my. No, not so much. Tommy time is for babies to grow their little neck and back muscles. So that they can like try to lift their little heads. You're supposed to get down on the ground with them so that they look at you. Look at those squirms. She loves to fart in that position. That's, <laughs> I do too. That's really. <laughs> is this your farting position yeah, it's too? That's the best. <laughs> what is that thing? I'm just gonna look right at this little furry thing. Oh, there's the light. <laughs> oh, I love the light. <laughs> You guys enjoy that tummy, that tummy time. We're working on it. Tummy time, y'all. It's a real thing. Um, I don't think I ever did that as a baby, but apparently it's pretty popular now. Tummy time. 
exploring the woods. Y'all know what's up. I love to do this. Uh, really what this reminds me of, what it takes me back to, is when I was a kid, when I moved to a new town in Alabama, my parents uh, bought this house that backed up to a creek. And I would go explore down in that creek, eventually ran into uh, what was called the Cahaba River. And man, I would just do all sorts of, you know, typical boy stuff down there. I'd sharpen sticks and catch crawfish, catch, you know, bass, bluegill, and all sorts of stuff down there. But it was just walking around down there, exploring. That was fun. It's like, what's around that next bend of the river? You never know. So that's really why I like doing this. We're gonna go check some trail cameras down here, see what was going on. Stuff I hadn't been able to get to because it's been flooded. Let's get to hiking. Let's see, we got the stick out today. I got the binos, and uh, this is just my little scout pack you've probably seen in some other videos. It's really my archery pack that's super light. I just carry my little camera that I've got in my hand with the rangefinder right there. Good to go, man. I'm really hoping since it's a hot sunny day today, that we're not gonna see any snakes. Hopefully they're in hiding. Maybe they're out this morning, but just about every time I come down here, especially when it rains and the water's high, there is snakes. That's why I like to carry a stick. I mean, sticks are freaking awesome. I can see why all the caveman depictions always have sticks in them. Because you can knock down spider webs, you can shoo away snakes. You know, if a hog came out and was a little ornery, I could probably push him around a little bit with this stick. It's even got a little pointy end on it. So, anyway, I've got two sticks. I've got a stick that I run with and a stick that I explore with. The stick that I run with is really light when you gave it to me. The stick I explore with is really stiff in case I need to whack something. That grass has gotten so high from all the rains. And the lake is just right there. It's super high. I don't think it's gone down one iota. It's bad, y'all. This also makes the mosquitoes down here absolutely horrendous. Listen to that water. Hoping I was gonna get a chance to get my trail camera back. I think it's just floating down the river though. There's no shot. Well, fresh hog roots. Even smells like them. It's probably two days old. There's one fresh track right there. That actually looks like a deer track though. And the water's right here. What I've really been wanting to do is do a beach hunt. Yeah, I think that'd be a really awesome video. The hogs are still Still rooting around in here. But there's no more beach. They've been snooting around up in here for sure. Just gotta adjust, figure out where they're going now. I mean, obviously they're going right there. I honestly think I could just come right down here and wait, just wait it out in the evening if I could withstand the mosquitoes. They would eventually pop out. LFD has got them in his yard too. They're just everywhere. There's only like a mile difference between here and LFD's house, so they're running Running down here, there's probably three or four groups. One thing that rain has done is brought some ducks up in here. When duck season kicks off, I need to make sure I gotta come down here. That'll be, that'll be nice easy. You just get up, come down here, do a little duck hunting, come back, eat a little breakfast, hang out with Emmy and the fam, instead of you know having to get up at like three and drive somewhere. Coming across another area where the floods just Ravage this place. Look at all the brush tucked up in there. It's all washed up into that big pile. Some hog tracks and some coyote tracks. I've probably pointed this out before, but this is how you tell a hog track from a deer track. Hogs usually separate like this. They kind of V out. Whereas uh, a deer is going to be more like a spade. Let's see if I can find one. Honestly, don't even see a deer right now, which is kind of concerning. That's mostly what I see on this trail. That's a little ways from the lake. Just a little oak thicket, probably some acorns down there. Now this is a deer. This is kind of, uh, it's not as easy to see. See it in my shadow right there, but see how the print comes together, more squeezed together. That's a deer. More tracks, fat hog tracks, just right along the trail, but there's something else you can see. You look really close in there, you can see the hair. 
where a hog is laid down in here. They've laid down, you can see their hair, their bristly hair. It's made an imprint, call that a waller, man. Hog waller. Just right on the road, dead gun giant. Son of gosh dang mosquito on me. God, that was a big one, pterodactyl size. It's pretty clear to me there's been tons, tons, tons of activity along this path. This is heading towards my cameras. I'd call it an old activity area. My gosh, these mosquitoes. Ooh, terrible. <laughs> terrible. Normally you don't have to worry about them. Middle of the day. There's a hog right there. <sighs> Scared the crap out of him. He's right next to my camera. God, this bugs me not having a gun. This stuff is so thick behind me. They could literally be 20 feet away. And they, they are. That one that I heard was literally that close to me. Four, 420 photos. I think a lot of that's going to be grass movement because the grass is just growing up so high, but we're going to see. Oh, God, mosquitoes. Okay, exploring a new area now. It's loaded with hogs. There's feeding and rooting spots everywhere. All up in here. Oh, my gosh. Look at that nice, soft sand. This is by far the most activity that I've seen. And I wanna say this is, whew, I wanna say this is really close to LFD's house. If I looked at it on a map, I bet you'd be right. Probably within 500 yards or so. Another creek bottom. And they are just going bonkers down here. Those two little creek bottoms, that is the deal. I have a renewed sense of excitement and hopefully we got some activity on this camera as well. Ah, let's see what has been lurking. Oh, we got a deer. Always have a deer. Oh my gosh, this is a deer selfie if I've ever seen one. Look at that guy. Look at his eyeball coming right up there. Come on, Sally. Oh, here we have a nice buck. <laughs> He looks really old. Good mass. Check that out. He's also, uh, he's a six point. It looks like he's got a little bit of blading on his brow tines, so just really old looking. His body looks, looks like a six year old deer. Oh my gosh, there's another buck behind him. Woo, little bachelor group showing up. Woohoo! That picture I just showed, that's, that's the, uh, the seven point that was behind that other one. Just for reference on all you hunters out there, that was on a full moon, 10.25 a.m. That was 9.25 when that picture was taken. Come on, snooter. You can tell me that there's no snooting activity? My fears came true on this camera that either there was no activity or they were just so low that I couldn't see them on the camera. There's thousands of photos on here. I'm not gonna go through every one. And for the first time today, I ran up on a hog in real time. But I did find the juice to finally make this thing happen. It's gonna be great for filming up high. You guys stay tuned. I'm gonna get this done. <sighs> because of this bullet right here, I wasn't able to get a coyote today. We'll blame it on Steven. He was shooting the gun last. It's probably his fault, right? I think next I'm gonna go on a little crappie fishing trip. The bass fishing just, I don't think it's gonna be good quite yet up here because of it just being hot. And I'm gonna wait till it cools down until I really start bass fishing again. But a little crappie trip, Lunkers has never been crappie fishing. Can you believe that? I think I'm gonna take him with me. We're gonna see how he does. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. If you wanna check out the new merch, I'll leave a link down in the description for some new camo fishing crew cats and to make every cast count shirts, version number two. Keep it locked right here for more outdoor activity, y'all. And subscribe to the channel. Hit the ding dongs for all the notifications. Hope wherever you are, you're having a blessed day in the outdoors. And I'll see you right back here on the next one.